This case is one of the Muslim words concerning the Chinese neutral sound. If you'd like to know why I choose the term neutral sound over neutral tone, all the standards I use to qualify a word as Muslim, you could find the links in the description. Here we have in front of us two words made of two identical characters with each character corresponding to one syllable. The first word, it doesn't involve any neutral sound. It's pronounced as sun zi. In the second word, the second syllable is pronounced in the neutral way, and the word is pronounced as sun zi. These two words, although they look the same in characters and sound alike to the ears, they're not yet used to tonal syllables, but they differ a lot in meanings. The first one, sun zi, the one without a neutral sound, it indicates one specific person who lived about 2,500 years ago. He is the author of the Art of War, a book of military strategy, which is still being read by generals nowadays. The second word, sun zi, the one with neutral sound, it has two usages and meanings. One means grandson, a title of family member, nothing to worry about here. But the other usage puts it straight into the club of cursing words. Let's look at this sentence first. Likewise, sun zi. Depending on who is talking to whom, it can go from being mundane to charge. If it's the grandpa or grandma talking to his or her beloved grandson, no problem. It means, come here, my dear grandson. But if somebody uses the Z sentence to talk to anyone than his grandson, it becomes a cursing word. It can be translated more or less like, come here, you bastard. Now let's look at another sentence. This is another way of using it as a cursing word. This time we don't use it directly to someone's face. We refer to this person behind his back. Depending on the context, there are quite a few interpretations here, such as he's a pushover, he's a kiss ass, he's a chicken, just to name a few. The takeaway of this episode, Two point. Point number one, you had one more swear word in your pocket. Point number two, if somebody who's not your grandparent calls you soon, it's probably the time to reevaluate the relationship between you two. Okay, that's it for today. Now you have it. This is your Chinese case consultant, Chico C. Bring me a case by asking me a question. If I open your case, I will close it for you. <laughs>